Hi everyone. Before we begin the tour inside your community performance venue, the Jazz Station Board and I would want to emphasize two key points. This renovation was a generational investment and could not have come to be without your continued support. However, over 90% of the physical and operational infrastructure improvements were paid for by hard-won cost-cutting measures while we were closed. From music license to garbage collection, every bill was reviewed and negotiated. So, why do we need to continue fundraising? Because we are a nonprofit, and our concerts and concessions only pay for 60% of our expenses. So when the lights go up in September, our overhead expenses dramatically do too. That's why we need your continued support. Now let's go inside. What do you guys think about having a fundraiser this spring for the jazz station? That's a brilliant idea. Didn't we just have a fundraiser? That's right, you were in a suit. I was. It's a, it a good video. Oh. Isn't it International Jazz Month? <laughs> there's, a, there's a day, right? Do you, yes. You know, you know the day. Day. At oh. least. Yeah, At least 30th. 30th. It's the 30th. It's the 30th. Jazz, right. What do you think? What do you want to do? I think maybe we should have a, like a tour where we go through the jazz station. The yeah. new renovated jazz station. And walk through it? Yeah. Welcome to the jazz station with our Brand new painted door. Mm. Welcome. The <laughs> new ticket position or the ticket office is going to be here with the POS system. People will come in, queue up in this area, get their tickets. So we buy our tickets, then we go around the yeah, corner and Jesse serves me a beer. We had a great bar before. We Very did. color. It was. It was a great bar. But with the remodel, we were able to go ahead and completely rethink how people are going to be in the space. So with that in mind, we we're able to open up this bar, and we're able, we got a beautiful kegerator. So with the kegerator, we're going to have a couple of beers on tap and Bigfoot set us up with the ability to have a white wine on tap as well. So on those warm summer nights, you can come and get a perfectly chilled glass of some sort of white wine. I wanted to thank Pascarelli Construction because they were so fabulous to work with, but they also knew that we were a nonprofit, and so they found this kegerator for us. Notice the best part of the bar? We have a picture that Don Latarski, we went up through the auction yeah. earlier. I want to designate this area the bird's nest because there's a bird, and of course, there's, I don't know where birds, what does bird have to do with jazz? Let's see. I can't think of a thing, but bird's nest, it's got to be the bird's nest. Now. It was really cool because we had so many people here at the beginning talking about how this space was going to work, how it's going to rearrange itself. It was odd because we kept looking different ways and then pretty soon it's like everybody at once sort of went, this just makes sense here, you know, which it does. So this is a Steve Owen design. He, you did. You measured everything to make sure. No, I did this. I did the shot. Figured out the shelves. We made the call on the the wood on the side. That yes. I think is pretty cool, actually. That's beautiful. <clears throat> that actually worked out. Steve took the lines that were already in the room and then created this to accent the natural line. Yeah, the cool. lights were hung to follow this line. The bar top also follows the line. I think it turned out really great. A nice way to complement what was already going on in the space. And my favorite part is the secret door, secret passageway to the front. We're part of a downtown community and we are really reaching out and working with the city officials and with our neighbors. Making sure we have a nice storefront is really important. That'll be fun for all of us to have different ideas and execute them. And this was built too, our desk, which coincidentally, it looks fabulous with our bar. <laughs> This bar is part of the old and part of the new. We wanted to respect and pay homage to the beautiful Cherrywood Bar that used to be located here. 
our carpenter pulled out the good wood and it is incorporated inside the bar. The other great thing was the bar wood that was up here. It is now, follow me. Part of our bathroom mirror. <laughs> it's a beautiful cherry wood and we didn't want to waste anything and so this shelf and this mirror were repurposed from the old bar. Alan Dickman, a good friend and community member, did the woodwork. We thank him for that. Uh, piano tuning and maintenance. Each of these pegs has a spot where a metal name tag is going to be hung so you can pitch in, help us pay for our annual fees for the piano maintenance and you can essentially buy a key and your name will go right along there. You can, you can pick which key you want too. For some of these you get two keys for the price of That's one. That's right. Because you can get both F sharp and G flat for the same it's low a, price. It's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. Peggy Leeds and I painted back here. When we were all painting, we had decided on the, the main room. Mostly, I think it was Michael and Steve, as far as I remember. Michael Radliff, Steve Owen. Painting all this stuff, getting way up there. I mean, all the stuff up on the walls, way up in the back. Um, and picking these two colors. I think it's a really awesome choice. We had a lot of colors before and there were some great colors, but there were maybe too many for consistency. So I, I'm personally a huge fan of how this stuff turned out. Just the look back here. I agree. It's great. It'll be great in terms of just keeping us neat and organized and feeling good back here. Musicians, your new green room. We're go we've got a refrigerator in here for refreshments. We have real Master Giovanni's beautiful artwork. Feels like a little home in here. This is put up here so you guys can fix your ties before you go on stage. Community members totally donated and pitched in to get this all up and beautiful. Kevin Hornbuckle donated the fabulous stainless steel counter. And then Lynn Rossi, one of our members, she did all the tile work. The other thing that I love are our lamps. They were kind of hidden and now they're clustered together as a focal point over the bar. And I think they're just stunning. So the carpet, if you guys spill a glass of wine, it's not the end of the world. We have tile carpet now that one can be pulled up and put down. One of the, you know, reasons why we started all of the renovation process was that we knew we needed to re-carpet eventually. Yeah. That's sort of what led the whole thing, but, and the carpet was the last thing to be done. Yeah. But it's finally done now. Yeah. It looks great. Every wall in the jazz station has been repainted. We've been at this since last year, the end of July, and I never in a million years thought it would take this long. Good things take a while to, <laughs> to happen. This is our big donor wall. These are key people who have really kept the jazz station alive for 15 years. A lot of people come in and they think it's just a venue and that we run solely based on our shows. But really, it is because of the volunteers and the donors that we're alive and kicking and we made it through the uh, pandemic. While we were closed, we were working here and then a lot of the other volunteers were working on software updates and our website improvements and gathering new volunteers who are out in the community that we're connecting with anew. So it's kind of fun. We're excited about it.